Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and welcome to modeling video. We're gonna be creating a block out of a mech leg. Let's go. So this video is gonna be a bit faster than other ones. It's gonna be aimed at intermediate users. I'm gonna be following more on the form and idea than you know explaining all the tools. If you're a beginner, I would highly recommend you grab one of our starter courses. Links in the video description. One of them is Jumpstart into Hard Surface, which will teach you everything you need to know about basics of Blender, teach you basic modeling skills, rendering skills, etc. And the other one is for add-on users, for paid add-on users, which is called Sci-Fi Terminal Design in Blender. And it will kind of introduce you to a hard surface add-on workflow like hard ops and box cutter. Like I said, both courses are free and the links in the video description shift a and the cube here and we need to make it uh, larger okay so as shift c and you know scale it up and we're gonna make it thicker as well it's gonna be huge but that's okay i uh, scale it up here in the well so now uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the shape out of this with uh, box cutter so alt w to box cutter uh, to enable box cutter and then shift v and here you need to enable this view align auto which means when you're gonna be in orthographic mode or in blender you're gonna be able to cut in view mode with box cutter okay so d choose angle and now we're gonna try to cut shapes so before we start let's alt x and mirror this to the other side so whatever we cut here it's gonna get mirrored so we're gonna cut the very basic okay very basic shape what you want to do first you want to start with basic stuff guys okay you don't want to, you know, do super complicated things so it's gonna be easier to control your shape okay now uh, here we're gonna add the loop and we're going to extend these uh, these two, so E and extrude them here. And we're gonna extrude it here as well, so E and extrude it in here, okay? To clean that mess inside, we're gonna go to Q and Operations and Clean Mesh, which will remove all the unnecessary edges. And now we can, you know, continue modeling here. So here, we're gonna grab this edge, move it to the front. Now we're gonna switch here to Increments, uh, and we're going to grab this edge here. Uh, in the corner and G, Y and hold control is going to be uh, allow you to snap to to the grid so the angle is going to be maintained uh, somewhere like this could work and to be honest I'm going to move it a little bit to the front so you know G, Y and move it to the front here somewhere here and I'm going to still extend this one so G, Y and extend it to the front here okay um, then are uh, we going to uh, cut the front here, so maybe cut it like this, maybe cut it like this, uh, here like that, and cut this bit in the front. So it's gonna be the front sort of a uh, side of the foot. And here in the back, we're gonna, you know, uh, make this larger as well. So here, E extrude it in here, and uh, this could be larger as well. So E and extrude it here. And we're gonna have to fix the cutter. So ever scroll and uh, scroll to this cutter. And we're going to make it simply bigger and uh, we're going to fix this face here okay this one so s y zero right and let's just clean this cutter because it's a bloody mess so I'll clean it up here all right and grab that and uh, gy now if you're wondering how did i co combine these values pressing one i'm using machine tools add-on and uh, i'm using the uh, smart vert menu okay now you see that we have this kind of a very basic block out of Kind of a max foot and here g y and hold control we're gonna create a similar angle to the front one so we're gonna have this kind of a nice echoing going on now the front should be a little bit more robust than the back uh, so i would still you know grab these faces and alt s and sort of expand them up here to the back and we still need to grab this cutter here and you know the other one and make it a bit bigger okay so it's kind of cutting through now the front is a little bit huge we could make this a little bit smaller also here we could cut this uh, so go to d menu press uh, this button here to change the angle snapping from 15 to 5 it's going to allow you to um you know uh, for a more kind of refined angle selection so create a straight line here and sort of cut it like this okay gonna be a nice cut here here in the back we could do something interesting uh, with this cutter so we could grab this edge here in the corner right now we could uh, GX and hold control as well and create this kind of a situation here in the back these feet are a little bit too crazy you know so we could maybe do something like this uh, or uh, maybe even straight cut here 
let me see that mm, that's actually not too bad uh, or maybe something like this you know that is pretty cool i like that now we lost this edge here the sharpness so we can uh, retrieve it by pressing q shift click on sharp and move your mouse to the right until you see the angle snapping simply changing the sharpness values you might need to adjust it later when you're going to be at the bevel but for now it's okay and I think we're now ready to slice this thing in half. Going to grab the uh, square cut and cut it somewhere here through. So, we, you know, this feet's going to have like two parts. That's actually maybe too feeble. So let's just uh, move this one a little bit to the front. So it's kind of here. And maybe the, um, the front is a little bit too long. So we're going to cut it from the top like this. So the, you know, the back um, is going to be a little bit longer. In fact, we could even grab this one and move it a little bit farther away here. You can hold control as well and grab this one here and, uh, you know, extend it here. So GY and move it up here or press E to extrude it and have something like this. Back should be a little bit stronger because it's going to support, you know, um, the heel is going to support a lot of weight. This will make more sense in terms of structure, okay? Um, so now we can apply this, so control click on that and we can start modeling here. You, you can, uh, you know, um, chamfer this and in fact we could chamfer both of them um, a little bit like that. And uh, this will create a nice separation here between them two. We're going to create some kind of uh, uh, oval element here in the middle, so cylinder. Um, and this cylinder should be probably around 50 just to make it, you know, nice and round. This entire foot could be smaller because it's insane in size. You know, there's no need for it to be so large. And then RY90 and uh, move this one in here somewhere. Okay, and we're going to scale it outside, sharpen. And then Shift D, make it larger and select that and difference, okay? So you're going to get this kind of uh, opening here. Uh, which suggests movement, you know. Uh, for now, this is gonna do. Control A, apply scale, grab this face, control B, and uh, alt text with smash machine to the other side. Done. Now, this one is a little bit deep, uh, so we could do is grab these two, right? And GY and move them somewhere here, uh, maybe. So we're gonna have a little bit more room to work with here in the back uh, because we need some supporting structures here. Let's grab a cube and uh, we're going to move it here as x and uh, you know pop it somewhere here you can go outside this cut here because we can merge it and cut it one more time not a big deal and um, so here we're going to extend it out maybe somewhere here and uh, let me see that uh, it could be a little bit wider so all the way down to here this could be, you know, chamfered, so let's apply scale, chamfer that, alt x, and uh, you got this situation here. Now, if I'm going to combine this with the bottom, you know, um, we're going to uh, boolean that, so select both and go to booleans and union, and uh, we're going to move this cut boolean a bit higher, okay, in the stack. So, if you go here to this mesh, you will see that you have two booleans. One of them is adding this cube and the other one is cutting uh, the circular shape. So we need to change the order of them uh, like that. So first it's going to be the union boolean and second is going to be the cutting boolean, right? Same here. Uh, we're going to add another cube to the front and uh, create some shape here in the front. So I'll grab this cube here and uh, let's just scale it on X and, you know, scale it here on the front as well. So we got some structural strength to it we could just create another chamfer here so another chamfer mirror to the other side and you know the same thing so select that and uh, union right and then again select this main shape and move this uh, boolean right above i uh, sorry below the uh, the union boolean so they're going to uh, be nicely aligned okay cool so we got this gen, you know, general shape, but the top could be um, kind of uniformed. So it could be sliced in here. In fact, it could be sliced somewhere here. It's gonna look pretty cool. And there you go. So with this done, uh, we can actually sharpen that. Because we changed the angle of the sharpness here in this corner, we got this problem. So if I'm going to shift click on sharpen, it's gonna fix that, but we're gonna lose these sharp edges. We're gonna fix it later. 
with bevel run um, in you know bevel weighted mode and so don't worry about it for now okay here on the top this uh, edge here is really sharp we need to fix that so either you can cut it or you could actually align it with uh, machine tools so select these three shift select this one and alt a and select these three all right should select that one and alt a and now it's looking a little bit better then we could actually you know show up at least right to create kind of like a sharp sort of a lip you know uh, on top here which is gonna look pretty cool here we could uh, create a really nice opening uh, for some mechanism in the middle we can mirror it to the other side to make it uniform it starts looking really nice now here um, in this area you probably want to run some loops to support that cut on both sides so here and here right and out our uh, alt x to the other side and then it's going to help you with mitigating this shading problem after cutting that opening here same uh, here you could so what you could do is uh, grab these two edges and actually uh, bevel them which will even further push your shading but it's going to create a nice kind of a you know shape here but uh we can actually stick with kind of an angular, you know, sort of a design um, that's, you know, fine as well, okay? This one could be actually a little bit larger, you know, something like that. We're going to have some connecting elements. We can actually build everything with cubes. Uh, it's not a big deal. SX, scale it, and, uh, you know, a G, Z, and move it in here. And scale it out like this. And uh, make it a bit narrower. Move it somewhere here. Where is the, uh, there we go. G, uh, GX and maybe somewhere here like this and we could move this across you know so select this face G, uh, GX and move it over here then we could mirror this across uh, okay and we got this shape let's just um, alt X to recover all the cutters and we're going to actually you know cut this one before we're gonna apply this now this will make no bloody sense so we're gonna have to create an opening here as well maybe something like this right so the foot actually has a room to move and it's a little bit too uh, too thick on top so do something like that then you see you can create very easy you know um kind of layers of uh, uh of your design on top of whatever you heard to have going on at the bottom right so something like this it's gonna look pretty cool um there you go and then we're gonna create some kind of uh, support here so cube and Let's do the cube here and scale it so SX, right? And uh, bring it somewhere here. Now we're going to bring this um, kind of like that, okay? And let's just uh, uh, GG and drop it down here. You can hold Control actually. Select these two and Control B, press C to clamp it and create this kind of a situation. Then D, circle, hold control. Now you want to enable this snapping, otherwise it's not gonna work. Create an edge here with J, and then you can draw a perfect circle here in the middle. Don't need too many verts. I think, you know, I don't know, 34 will do. Probably you don't have to go, you know, so crazy on it. Alt X, mirror to the other side. This one has to be mirrored as well, by the way. Boom, there we go. So this could be like a beginning of our mechanism. We could borrow these two, so Shift D. Now when you do that you will lose the cutter so what you can do is press q um, operations and uniquify then we'll basically you know copy the cutters make this smaller and rotate it on z by 190 and you got yourself you know a mechanism here which is going to be smaller it's already mirrored and perfectly aligned so easy peasy and now we can combine them together so we could create um, you know another um, support here like this hold control and rotate it it's gonna perfectly fit the the angle here grab that and extrude it with e okay and now we need to you know fix the width here um to this kind of a width all right so here what i would like to run a cut uh, maybe like this or with a knife okay something like this and move this one inside we can use punch it for it uh, this is a um, option in paid version of machine tools 
Alt E and punch it, and then we can punch it inside here and confirm all tags you're done. It's a fantastic tool. I suggest you get the um, paid version of machine tools, it's really worth it. Um, it's only 10 bucks. Here we're going to create this kind of a situation and move it a little bit deeper so you can actually see that shape coming out. And uh, if I scroll this, uh, select that one in difference. Okay, so um, let's just uh, extrude it, expand it like this on the x axis and select this in difference. And we're going to mirror it to the other side. There we go. So now here we're going to add some bevel to smooth it and. Uh, Wait a normal and Bob John Colin here. Let's grab one of these, uh, uh, you know, these elements, and we're going to go to settings and shift click on shade solid, which will create a solid shape out of it, and remove it from cutter collection. It's a very convenient uh, tool. Uh, grab the uh, actually let's apply scale, and you know chamfer this. Whoa! Actually move it outside a bit and then chamfer. There you go. And to the other side here. Whenever you clamp a bevel, you're going to have double verts on the top. So what you want to do is press three with machine tools to clean it, you know, and you're done. Same here, you know, three, clean it, done. Easy peasy, right? Let's power save this and continue. Okay, now we need to move these uh, to one collection. So select everything and M and move them to collection. Um, there's uh, two collections for some reason and there we go. Now the feet on the bottom could be a bit lighter. You don't really need all this um, bottom part to be in contact with the ground. So what we could do is um, change it to a cutter and you know run a cut here like this. Right? It's gonna give a little bit of lightness to this entire uh, form and design and I think it's gonna look a bit better. Uh, same here in the back we could have some kind of uh, you know opening um to this uh, feet maybe maybe like this you know you don't need to have the entire area sort of you know um solid let me just do this again uh also what the hell happened in here i need a line here j there we go that's better okay so here we could you know create a, a bit of a cut here 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 and cut through there we go now we could move this a little bit to the side uh, somewhere here you don't want to make it too thin so you could just slice it with another you know boolean like that and uh, mirror it to the other side it's gonna add a little bit of lightness to the entire form it's gonna look really cool here too we could for example create um this is gonna sloping shape in the front and uh, we could also cut it here as well because you don't really need you know this entire shape to to be present this is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i liked it a lot so there we go and uh, here in the, um, in the in the in the back we could have another uh, kind of a support here uh, we could create it um, slightly differently this time so let's grab a cube and um, add something here and make it narrower and um, maybe move it all the way here like this so it's gonna be sort of offset um, through the shape um, somewhere here we're gonna mirror this to the other side and uh, let's apply scale and create create a bevel here like this in fact and now we need a bevel here um, let me think something like this probably that's gonna be better sharpen that and then you know go to a circular cutter and again we need a uh, we need something here just to create a dot and you know this could be actually a little bit bigger like this right boom and this is gonna be support for this one okay here too we need uh, we could actually um, change the shape a little bit like this you know it's gonna be a bit lighter in form in fact, what you could do is, um, you know, create another opening here. So select that and create another opening here. Again, follow edges for echoing. This always pays off, guys, okay? Um, you want to have nice echoing, right? So we could cut, you know, shape like this here. Also, we could cut it in the middle like this to, you know, make it a bit more airy. 
uh, even with a battle so you know the structure is going to be a little bit less um, solid more kind of open and here let's sharpen this and you know grab these two edges here and uh, you know bevel them now this is not going to work because this one is a little bit too close so this cutter is a little bit too large uh, let's just um, you know let's just shrink it a bit like this and maybe even a bit more and then control a apply scale to fix the bevel ratios right and then we can apply this so apply that and we can grab these two and control b now you gotta be careful with the connecting edges to a bit ugly so grab a knife and fix them press space and you can remove this this junk here and check the other side as well um and you don't have to worry about that i'll text to the other side then let's remove this middle edge, we don't need it. Select these two, Q, mark, Control B, and boom, press 3 to clean it, you're done. Now create this edge here between these two, J, come on, J, and then hold Control, and we're gonna cut another hole in here. And maybe move this manually, you know, somewhere here, okay? And cut. And you got this connecting thing going up here. Yeah? These are a little bit too um, too wide, so we can either scale them, or what we could do is, uh, yeah, I can actually scale them a little bit, and move them a bit closer here, you know, somewhere here maybe. In fact, I'm not sure if this opening here is a good idea. We might have to close it, guys. Um, I'll show you how to close it very easily, okay? So we select everything, right? And um, we're going to go to vert mode and shift one and then X and dissolve vertices. I'll text and you're done, okay? Now here what we're going to do is we're going to create another cut uh, with a circle but a little bit lower. So somewhere here. And I would make it smaller than all other cuts, okay? Add weighted normals. Also this cut is going through a weird uh, place. So you can see there's a connecting edge going all the way here. So if I'm going to draw a line here, it's going to disappear. See what I mean? That's how you fix shading. Let's actually make this one um, a little bit wider to where it was. Okay, like this. And we're going to cut through it. Hang on a second. This is weird. Just press 3 to clean it. Shift Control. Click on Sharpen. Let's just sharpen this and then cut it. There we go. Um, let's just scale it up a little bit. And um, we're going to have this kind of a situation here. A cube and move it in here and R hold control rotate it so it maintains the angle again uh, right more or less and then um, you know scale it as uh, uh, YY and scale it in here as CZ and scale it in here and rotate it so it fits move it in here as CZ move it a bit bigger and there you go and then we need to um, create a proper sort of uh, you know alignment here for this right so something like this and um, I think this should work and uh, this should be much more narrow like that uh, we don't really need this bit in the middle so I have a scroll and we're going to actually grab this face here um, this one so this face and gx and you know remove that here in the middle this one should be narrower so sx and uh, or gx and move it in here there we go and in fact what we could do is slice this thing here with a knife and do this e and extrude it here and add a you know chevre here and, and the and sharpen that so you got this kind of element here in the back which is pretty cool and you could add some for example two screws here in the back just to create kind of like a you know um, holding area or whatnot, kind of like you know um, um, a mounting screw, whatever. Same here, could have some you know cuts here on top, but we can do this later. Anyway, so here um, you know this needs to be mirrored, so mirrored across this, and that didn't work. Oh, let's find mirror across this. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's just apply this. So let's multiply and mirror again. There we go. And grab that. It should be a little bit wider. And uh, also apply scale. Grab these two and you know um, 
round them up and same here and round them up okay press three to clean it and you're done cool cool and then we need you know kind of like a some kind of small piston here in the middle it's very easy to actually move it to the car because go ever scroll right you recover this one shift s move cursor to select it and this one to cursor and you're done and you scale it in and you know bob jungle shift d here grab that you know uh this is already geo so uh select this um let me just go here and select this and this and uh you know all, all of them shift s and uh, two face and then we're gonna move this one to cursor and we're gonna rotate it on z by 90 and move it in okay more or less right so this should be sharp and there we go and you got this kind of a, a situation here and we're gonna have to work this one a little bit okay so here what we're gonna do is we're going to cut it so we're gonna cut it in here like this right and we're gonna cut it in here like this, right? And we're gonna grab uh, uh, another angle and we're gonna slice it here like this, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cylinder, okay? Rotate it again and scale it and move it somewhere here, right? Scale it some more as you see and scale it like that and move it to the middle, so here scale it okay and sharpen it and scale it some more like this all right rotate it so it actually fits the angle okay there we go and so uh, we're actually gonna make it a bit fatter like that let's just add some you know edges here to support that and we're gonna create uh, you know sort of a um sort of a mechanism in here so let's just select that and rtm macro and expand this and we're going to run edge here with mark sharp and control b and share for this so it's going to be kind of like a you know sort of a very very short piston that's going to support this uh, mechanism here you know moving up and down okay so here sharpen there we go so here we can actually draw a shape with an angle so watch this uh, we're gonna turn off the cyclic we're gonna deselect everything okay and this will allow you to actually draw a shape uh, with an angle so we're gonna draw a shape here and here like this press t to make it thicker one more time here and here right and then press e and we're going to extrude it and create a solid shape. Shift S, move to uh, move to select, and uh, not move to select. Move to select it, and then move to all cursor. And we're gonna have to rotate it, right? So Alt R. So here we can just move it to the middle, um, and you know either scale it or what we could do is mirror this across this one, right? So it's gonna be even. And then we can actually cut it in here. So what we could do is uh, go to an endgon and uh, turn on cyclic, and we can actually, you know, cut it in here like that. Okay. And then let's go to other scroll, and uh, you know, we could actually adjust it here like this. Or actually cut it in here like this. There we go. A bit deeper than that. Sorted, right? This is a little bit too thick here. There we go. And, you know, this is too long. So this could be a little bit shallower. Maybe something like this. You know, somewhere here like that. Um, this could work. Okay. So let me see this shape. Uh, this needs to be fixed here. Extrude it here and extrude it to the bottom. There we go. Apply this clean mesh. 
and we're going to uh, grab these two and control B and uh, you know move to the other side remove the middle edge and clean it so three okay cool so let's uh, run this a little bit deeper so select this custom orientation gz and uh, ogy and move it a bit deeper here there we go that's better it's a bit stronger of a shape and here we can uh we can technically eyeball this gy or gx or gz no okay fair enough let's just draw it here j Press three to clean whatever we don't need, and you know, run a circle here. There we go. And then we need to connect these two, right? So we can actually borrow. Um, you know, we can actually borrow that. Uh, we don't even have to recreate it. So Shift D. You know, move it like that, and you know, put one here, and the other one. Oh, they, they actually mirrored this is one shape, okay? L to select it, G, and move it in here, okay? And all we need to do is extend this, so, you know, extrude it, and you're done. And you got the piston in the front, okay? And then we need to connect these two together, so, uh, create another cylinder, move it to the front, and, you know, R, Y, 90, we need to Reset that to global R Y ninety and scale it in and we're gonna move it here to this cutter, so F scroll, right? Shift S to select it and to cutter and we're going to uh, move it here in the middle. Let's reset this by pressing X, there we go, and mirror there we go, and sharpen, right? Scale it in in some more okay and control a scale and chamfer and mirror okay cool these are too wide so this could be a little bit narrower so um, what we could do here is hang on a second what the hell happened here that is weird oh let me just see that let me apply all the booleans first. Operations multiply and let me just extend this on X here. Mirror this across. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring these together. Okay, so and we're going to actually duplicate them and then operations and um, uniquify. Okay, so you're gonna have a double um, joints here in the front, which is gonna make it a bit stronger which is cool all right awesome here we could have we could have an opening as well so we could create a new cut here there we go and create something like this if it's too deep you can always you know uh, go a bit shallower here so kind of do something like this right cool this needs to be mirrored to the other side and uh, we kind of have a basic shape of this, you know, Mac like sort of, you know, coming to life. And then you can start, you know, playing with uh, details at some screws and uh, whatnot. Um, you know, there's a lot you can you can do with it. You can have something in the front here like massive screws, um, some kind of additional design uh, on top of that. We could have, for example, a structural design here by going to Angon, and uh, we could just create a cut here like this. So, create a cut here in the middle, like that. Press B for bevel and cut it in. And then let's recover. It's actually at the bevel here, so you can see. Uh, recover this cutter and in fact grab this one okay and this one together and go here and what we could do is cut it like this so booleans difference right and you're gonna get this interesting shape and if you you know if you grab this cutter right and you're gonna apply this right you can now um, run you know bevels here okay 
See what I mean? And you're gonna get this kind of nice cut in shape here um, in that um, area. And we could either flip it to the other side or create something different here. So we could have, you know, um, let's say, let's say this kind of a shape here. A slight, a slight bevel on these edges and uh, go in and have a bit of a different design here in the back. Maybe a bit too tall, so we could always, you know, drop it down a bit. So go to occlude and B select top GZ and drop it down. What the hell? Uh, one more time. Occlude. One more time. B. There we go. GZ and drop it down. So it kind of matches on the height with this. Okay. See what I mean? And uh, you got this kind of a cut out here in the middle which is pretty cool and this one could have uh, some shape to it as well maybe some kind of a you know hint of a some kind of a, a mechanism this could be very easily uh, detailed with uh, with trim sheets then you can start you know sort of refining the the design here all right guys i think that's it this would be you know a very simple approach to kind of like a mech block out now these are actually cut, which they should not be. There we go. Um, I just extrude them down. Same here, E and Z. There we go. Here we go. And uh, let me just uh, add another cube here. It's a little bit too feeble from the front. There we go, and we just move it to the front. Could be like this, and uh, chamfer it as well. Let me see how we're looking. This could be cut from the top, from the back as well here, like that, and maybe here in the middle as well, like this, you know. And you could create some kind of a, or create a wedge cut in here. So W, create a wedge cut here in the front like that. It's going to be pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Very simple Mac like. It looks like it could work. Um, you know, on top of that, you can start adding some bevels and stuff because we didn't really do that. You're going to have to clean mesh here and there because there's a lot of mess going on. Like, for instance, there's something weird going on with the bevel. Press 1 to clean that bevel. And see we have this kind of a problem here so we need to fix that then uh, mirror to the other side remove the middle edge to fix the level and you're good to go these connections like this need to be fixed because it's a disaster waiting to happen you don't want edges to be run like that you want to have them run you know um, in a more civil way you could uh, champion that if you wanted to this is mirrored so let me just grab it from here uh, control B and you know chamfer is gonna look really cool you're gonna have some pulls on the verts so you can actually turn off loop slide and if the bevel doesn't catch which in, in this case doesn't what you can do is switch it to uh, weighted bevel which will catch all the angles and there you go all right guys well that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one